Hey, everybody. Welcome to Cheers to Business. I'm Karen Simmons, and I'm a certified public accountant. I'm coming up on my 23rd tax season. My firm is KCS CPA Group, and I have a wonderful team of 13 people. I'm also involved in some other businesses. Katie and I started Payroll Vault together, which now she owns. And then my brother and I have a manufacturing company, Marine Exhaust Systems of Alabama. I am having the best time of my 52 years right now. I'm Katie. I'm the daughter of the duo. And like she said, I own Payroll Vault now, and I have a team of five. And then I also have two children, 10 and almost three, and a husband, and just balancing it all, (laughs) trying to. We're here to talk to you about business, life, and having fun in the process. Katie, tell a little bit about why we're here and what got us here. Well, this is our first episode, so we're really just trying to lay out how we got here, who we are. Um, I'm the daughter. I'm the mom. Karen's my mother. And while we're very successful together in business, I think our personal has kind of struggled. But that's because of the balance that we give to each other. You know, Karen's kind of just go-getter, the dreamer, head in the clouds, taking action, whereas I'm the, okay, let's slow down, think about this. What can go wrong? How can we get where we need to be? Yeah, I'm a very type A personality, and if I see something, I go for it. Now, you know, Mama had me tested, so you got to have a little bit to you to be able to get going. And I think Katie's got that. She's got the gumption. She's got the smarts, and it's a good balance. While we may butt heads, you know, being such so different, we're really a lot alike, and we work well in business. I think that growing up kind of, I don't want to say underneath your shadow, but walking behind you with my notepad taking notes, I've kind of had the observer to see, all right, there she is marching through the room. Let me take a look at what else is all going around. So that kind of gives me, that's what I grew up seeing is let's look at the whole picture, whereas you are just, there's my end goal. What do I have to do to get there? I think that comes from a lot in history. You know, growing up, not having very much of anything, I knew that education and going and getting it myself was the only way it was going to happen. Now, I think what God's put in my life is you to be able to be there with me on this journey and coming up and being able to see those things. So I know, okay, so let's back up. I know a lot of people, you know, they have a backstory and you're you say you grew up without a lot so i mean go into that just to tell people because i don't think a lot of people do know well growing up you know we had no air conditioner heat and while we lived in a great place you know it was a struggle it was a constant struggle and the only way to make money was whatever you could do to, to find now for being personally i started a general ledger at 12 when dad had a fiberglass business and would leave me with grown men picking up fiberglass well i told him i required 10 percent, and the only way to make sure i would get my money was i kept the books and that's how i got started and knew that education was my only way out karen a lot of times People have ideas for businesses or they want to start a business, but often, you know, they're in their day job, eight to five, Monday through Friday. You know, when you left the larger CPA firm, I guess what was going through your head was there, can I do this? Will I fail? All those variables kind of what was at the point where you decided I can do this and I will do this? All of that went through my head. It was scary. Um, There's a lot of faith put into this, you know, in my head and in my heart. Uh, Leaving the security is a very scary thing. For me, when I wasn't happy and I was started to take it home and it was affecting my family, it became a very personal matter. Um, I think the signs started coming up that, you know, this was the right thing to do. And that's what led me to just give it all. And take the chance and so I went home to your dad and I said hey I want to open up my own CPA firm and he went okay I said I got to put up our house to do it and he said okay you know that's a lot of faith in that and I was right but you know right after I decided to go out on my own after some debts of getting out of the old practice and house repairs coming out of pocket you know we were 46 and 52 years old and had to start financially over again. So was that the low point? I mean, as far as, you know, owning a business and even life in general is a roller coaster. It's nothing but ups and downs. So was that kind of the low point where you did you ever doubt yourself? Did I do the right thing by leaving? Yes, every day. I think it's human nature to do that. And it's very emotional to talk about because it was hard. Wondering when I'm going to get a paycheck. I was used to getting a paycheck. Eight to five, you get a paycheck. There was no paycheck. You know, I started with four people, and now we're to a team of 13. And they have to get paid before you do. 
So how are you going to eat? And so, you know, it is a struggle, you know. Then I came home to him one day and I said, "Hey, honey, I want I wanted to open up a payroll company." You, uh, Payroll Vault started our payroll company that we started together, and then I took over. We were at a tax conference. Where were we? Maryland, Maine, somewhere. I don't know. We were at a bar. We always find an Irish pub whenever we travel. And she wrote on a napkin. She just started writing. And then next thing I know, I see the word payroll. Well, I was doing payroll through the CPA firm. And she said, you've been doing payroll since you were 14. Let's start a payroll company. And I'm like, oh, boy, here she goes. Another business just adding, adding to the list. And I grew up watching my mom, you know, work in a business, then work on a business. And it was her life. And so I never wanted to do that. I wanted the eight to five job, you know, go to work, then go home and work is over. Then it's kids time. Um, I wanted that separation. But thing is, that separation is on someone else's terms. And that's the beautiful thing about owning a business is you're in control. You know, if it's 12 o'clock and I need to go pick up my kids, that flexibility is there. And that's kind of my goal in business is to pass that on to my team. So offering a flexible schedule, you know, flexible PTO, personal time off, all of that. But it's hard when you first start it and you're growing it because you sometimes you can't leave. Oh, I mean, in the beginning, no, there's no flexibility. There's, I mean, how many times have we slept at the office? We don't go home. I think you've slept there more than I have. I would text her and all of a sudden I get at 11 o'clock at night and she's still at the office. And I, I think that's the biggest variable if you're even thinking about going into business is do you have the grit to just get the job done no matter what it takes? I think that's the biggest thing that sets people apart from, you know, know, just wanting the standard job eight to five versus owning a business because it is 24 seven. But it's like a baby. You don't resent it. You know, it may keep you up all night. Sometimes you do. I do sometimes. Well, I mean, it's like a newborn. It may keep you up at night sometimes, but you still love it and you're still going to do You what... love it, but you don't necessarily like it when it won't stop screaming so at 2 o'clock in the morning. this is where I I think I'm more maternal than you are. I mean, you weren't a bad mom, but... <laughs> I sucked and you know it. I was not there. So I, in middle school, all these other kids had like hand cut apples and homemade bread. Oh my God, and if I have to hear about the peanut butter and the apples one more time. This one mom cut the center out of an apple. I and heard stuff. about it all the time anyways but she asked me she was like so we're going to new york this summer i was like yeah we are she said do you want hand cut apples or do you want a new york trip and so that's when it clicked oh wait it went further it went further i said how do you like that four wheeler you got for christmas you said huh i said well it's not paid for so it's got to go back so i'm glad you bring that up though because now i'm able to pass that on to my kids you know my daughter knows if she's going on a field trip and she wants to visit the gift shop it's up to her to take her money so the week before she's asking me what chores can she do to make some money you know sticking postage on the envelopes at work i am so proud of you right at this moment right now well it's just no parent is perfect, but you learn from your parents of what... And their mistakes. Can I finish my sentence? Yes, I'm sorry. Good I'm sorry. grief. So, you you know, not every parent is perfect, but you learn from one generation to the next. And it's the same with employees. I mean, the first person that we had working for Payroll Vault, like, things got rough. But I learned from that. I mean, you learn with every experience. I'm still learning every day. Oh, gosh. You never stop learning about your industry, about how to handle situations, how to... People, personalities, drama. What else comes into business? I think drama's the... What? I, you're extra feisty today. I am. I'm excited about this. And I'm excited... You know, I get very passionate. and Obviously. <laughs> I do, because it, it's, it's so much fun, and it can be so much fun, but it's so hard. But if it were easy, the cliche, you know, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But you nailed it. You have to give it your all. And you have to find people. You have to find people to talk with about what you're going through because it will. you can go crazy. You literally can lose your mind in business. Cry all the way home sometimes. Just saying. I heard a friend of mine did that. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. Sometimes you cry on the way home because it gets so much. And there's so many people depending on you. But, you know, if we can pass on just a little bit. You said, you know, going from generation to generation, going from experienced employer to em- employee. You know, one thing I'm taking away from this conversation right now that I, that's sticking in my car is that if you don't have the grit, it's okay. You have a great idea. You're going to go in business. If you don't have what it takes, find those people who have the grit. Don't try to do everything yourself. You, you know, we were able to be a team. You know, sometimes outside of work, we butt heads. 
in work, we feed off each other and in business, and it's a great balance. But find that person or those people. You know, my biggest client, the smartest thing about him is he surrounds himself with smart people. I think that goes for any successful person, really. Uh, Totally agree. And again, find your people. So just very quickly, I'm just curious. What is your like highest point in your career so far? The moment that you think like this is awesome, I made it. You buying me out of payroll vault. Ooh. That's a deep down honest. I felt like mission accomplished and you're gonna be okay and your babies are gonna be okay. Watching a business grow. Now it's got extra emotional with you, but it's no different than seeing new new clients come and they build these things and you help them build these things. That is the most rewarding thing in the world. It's not about a dollar. It's about watching, helping build something and building these businesses. And then all of a sudden people are eating and able to feed their families because you created something. That's just fun. Y'all, thank you so much for listening and being here with us today. I'm Karen. I'm Katie. Please be sure to subscribe to Cheers to Business podcast on iTunes or anywhere else that you get your podcast. Visit our Facebook and be sure to give us a like. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to discuss, shoot us an email from the website, cheers to business.com. Here's to you and your business. Cheers. Cheers.